Hello everybody, this is Steve again over at HVACPartsShop.com. I'm going to kind of go over today a universal condenser fan motor, how to, how to install it um, as far as wiring. Um, on it, um, you'll see on the box, it's got your uh, schematics. There's a couple of different ways of wiring this motor. You get a three wire installation and a four wire installation. Um, so we'll go over both of those. Um, on the box, it, it also goes over this plug, which I'll, I'll get into that in a second. But if you notice on a um, universal condenser fan motor, it comes with two different horsepowers on it. We need to pick the horsepower that's closest to uh, our original motor. Um, so, doing that, let's go ahead and get started with this. I'll turn the motor a little bit closer to where you can see. Um, so here we go. So start off with this plug here. This plug here is basically a uh, to change the rotation of the motor. Uh, to change the rotation of the motor, this plug here will break apart, will separate, and then all we're going to do is go a half a turn with it, and we'll plug it back in, and then that will change the rotation of this motor from either clockwise or counterclockwise. Uh, we also have a short wire. This is this wire here. It's got a green stripe on it. That's going to be our ground wire. It's important that we get this on. So we'll install that as well. That'll install just to the fan guard or the, the casing of the of the condensing unit. And then uh, the wire, the wiring diagram we're going to go over today, or the first one we're going to go over, would be a three wire hookup. So it'd be this schematic here which we'll show you that on the side of the screen here in a second. Um, so we got two brown wires, one with a white stripe. I don't know if you can see the white stripe on it or not, but one with a white stripe and then one that's solid brown. These two wires are our capacitor wires. Okay, in a three wire installation, um, usually with a three wire installation, you get a dual run cap on your system. Uh, or on, on your air conditioning unit. Uh, dual run cap has two purposes. One, to run your compressor and to run your condenser fan motor. Um, so on the dual run capacitor, they got a, it's stamped up here in the top of the, of the capacitor. We've got fan here, we got common, and we got herm. So the one that we're gonna use in a three wire hookup, we're gonna take the solid brown and we're gonna hook it to fan just like that. And then of course you'll have your other wires connected here, one for your compressor and then coming from L2 on the contactor. Speaking of the contactor, a lot of times when I have customers call in asking um, for help on wiring up their motor, they don't understand what I mean when I say L1 and L2. So this is a contactor. Um, L1 would be this right here. L1 stands for line one and then line two, uh, or L2. Um, so we'll go with our brown lead, or our white lead. White lead's gonna always go to L2. As it shows on the schematic, you can see there. So we'll put that there. And then depending on the horsepower that we have, as I told you earlier, this is a multi-horsepower motor, so we wanna make sure we get the horsepower right. Uh, doesn't matter which horsepower we choose, it's always going to spin at the same speed. Uh, this particular condenser fan is 825 RPM. But we definitely want to get our horsepower correct, so pick the one that's closest to yours. In this case, we're going to go ahead and do the one-third, so we won't be using the, the red wire. The black wire, the black wire is going to go to L1 on the contactor, which would be like so. So that's L1. It's going to be important that we take the wire that's left over that we're not using and we're going to tape this up, insulate it really well. You can cut off the end, put a wire nut on it if you so choose, and then just kind of wrap it up and tidy it up a little bit to where it's not, uh, where it's nice and neat in the electrical compartment. Another thing I was going to go over with you, there's several ways to mount this motor. Um, let me get these things unhooked and I'm going to kind of go over that with you. Um, several ways to mount this motor. We have mounts 
that mount up. We can take these off. These are just kind of protectors for the threads. A lot of times your motor will, will go up into your um, fan guard and mount there like that, and then your fan spins down here. But that's one way to mount it. We also have mounting brackets on the side. And then there's, we got those mounting brackets. And then we even have mounting brackets for up top. So let me put these back on. And then we're almost done with this um, as far as the wiring on this one. One other thing I wanted to kind of go over with you is you can see how long this shaft is. Usually on a universal motor, most of your shafts are pretty long. Now if you're having trouble and it's getting in the way um, and it's not mounting like it needs to because the shaft is too long, it's okay to cut this shaft down. But I would go ahead and get your fan blade on there and kind of measure it all out before you, before you cut this. But it's okay to take a hacksaw or whatever and go ahead and get this cut off to, to the length that you need it to, to fit in your unit. Um, it's not going to be a big problem. Other than that, uh, we just covered the three wire hookup uh, on this particular motor. Now let's, now let's visit the four wire hookup. Usually on a four wire hookup, it's because we have two different capacitors in there. We have its, your compressor has its own um, run capacitor and then your motor has its own run capacitor. Uh, so it's got just a single run on it. So we'll take in the four wire hookup, we'll take the two browns. So now we got a brown with a, just a solid brown and a brown with a white stripe. On the four wire hookup, we'll take the brown, put it to one side of the run cap and the brown with a white stripe and put it on the other side of the run cap like so and then um, again just like we did the last time on a three wire hookup we'll take white wire white wire will go to L2 on the contactor like so and then we're going to still stay with the one-third horsepower in that case we would use the brown wire or the black wire it will go to L1 on the contactor so that leaves us one wire left, which would be the red. Same, same principle here. We want to make sure we insulate the end and uh, tuck it in and tie it up nice and neat in the electrical compartment so it doesn't short out or get in the way of anything. Um, it still applies for your rotation plug, which is here. Again, this, this will break apart or separate. And it's just a half a turn, plug it in, and then the rotation will spin, either uh, change the rotation from clockwise to counterclockwise. And we should be good. Um, other than that, that we just kind of covered our four wire hookup and we covered our three wire hookup. If there's anything else you guys would like to uh, me to do a video on, just give us a sh shout and we'll definitely uh, work on it. Until then, I'll see you the next time.